maybe, maybe so. But yeah, there was a few guys that uh, I forget the name. You know, it just runs away. You know, there was Wally. He disappeared. I've been trying to get Tree Frog back on the air. I bumped into his wife a couple of times recently. I think 10 4. Yeah, there was a few guys in there. There was a uh, trucker. And, oh man, there was a lot of guys that are just totally like absent. Well, 21 stuff. Imagine it used to be a lot of female driving it too at 1.1. Trucker! Trucker! Yeah, well, we got ourselves established a nice new group here on Channel 13, and you can't even call it new after all this time. New and improved. Yeah, somebody need to do a station identification. Yeah, it is. It is, that's right. It is 31 minutes past the big hour of 9 o'clock on 27.115 on your AM radio dial. Classic radio roundup. New and improved CB radio. Brought to you by exclusive wall covering dedicated and committed to improving the quality of life in your home or place of business. Visit us on the web at exclusivewallcovering.com. Yeah. This portion of the Classic Radio Roundup brought to you by Volvo. We build the safest cars in the world because our customers are the worst drivers in the world. That's the truth. <laughs> Nothing worse than a soccer mom in a Volvo. Zero percent financing available for those to qualify. Mileage estimate is based on a 2013 J.D. Power and Associates survey. Uh, whereas the taxes, tag, delivery charges, extra. Some fees may apply. See dealer for details. Specifications are subject to change without notice. Printed copies are unavailable upon request. Responsible replies are invited. Any similarity to persons living or dead, but it's purely coincidental. Somebody's got to do that one disclaimer about the views and opinions of these, these uh, what is it, not, are not the views and opinions, necessarily the views and opinions of the, you know what I'm trying to say, of this radio station. And so this radio station are not necessarily, <laughs> oh yeah, what was it? Yeah, the views expressed on this radio station are not necessarily the opinions held by the editorial and ownership staff. Earlier today, it was 72 degrees and sunny. Tonight, it will be a low of 52 degrees and clear. Tomorrow, it will be a sunny and a high of... <laughs> I lost my page. This is the Classic Radio Roundup on Citizens Band 1327115. Any rebroadcast of this program in whole or in part without the express written permission of Scott, a.k.a. Grumpy, Grumpy, I messed it up, is strictly prohibited. And since he's passed away, it'll be really hard to do. That means there should be no commercial interruption. Unless it's our spoof commercials, that's it. Bagger, you could take the whole thing over the form and all that. Can you do that? Weather and sports. What's that, Petri? Can you take over the Grumpy's form and keep it alive? Well, I more or less already have. Hey, Roger, well, you can, you can uh, have all rights reserved uh, for Classic Radio Roundup. I mean, I see, the way, the way those forms are set up, um, only the... Only the administrators got 100% access, <coughs> uh, but you can make other people administrators, and they have like 
99% access, and that's basically what I got. There are a few things I can't do, and uh, hopefully for the most part, I'll, that'll never affect anything. Right, maybe that 1% don't need to be done anyhow. Yeah, like I can't put it in maintenance mode or anything like that. And I don't know if, I don't know if Grumpy's wife knew his password or not, because I tried to get him to give it to me before he went into the hospital, just in case, you know, because I, I tried to tell him that there might, be some, there might be a situation where I, you know, I can't do something. Well, at least he had the foresight to give you the access that you do have. Well, he, he knew for a year that he was, uh, he was on his way out, and it lasted for, he lasted for a year. Yeah, Grumpy, give me the password, man. You're getting ready to die. <laughs> Put it like that. That's pretty cool. Well, we're keeping this forum alive. You know, at least you are. And everybody's still participating like nothing ever happened. Well, you know, not, not to say that nothing ever happened. You know what I mean. Well, that's what I plan on doing. I'm not going to change anything. You know, except, uh, you know, taking care of uh, idiots or whatever. Like, you know, every now and then some clown will come in here and start spamming the page with the iPad apps or something and I have to delete them. Well, it sounds like a fitting memorial. Well, so far the radio has not failed tonight. No, maybe you fixed it. Yeah, I would never know. If it don't happen again, I will assume. But yeah, that final tube had three coupling capacitors. That's three of them in that resistor. <laughs> Not the final of the driver tube. That's the one. If you're gonna if you're gonna change resistors around the final tube, make sure you reset the biasing. Yeah, it wasn't the final. I'm sorry. It was the driver. I got a knocker. If you were a girl, you'd have two. <laughs> I'm, I'm quiet. Show you right. Fun with boobs or tubes. Yes. <laughs> Serious adjustments only. Hey, is that radio station? Say, is that radio station? I had planned on going over to the Metro Tech, but man, I totally lost time at a clock. That's what happens when you're on these video gates. What happened to Skeeter in that Lafayette 20? Oh, you ran around in the gate? Yeah, I got another one. Ah, uh, very good. I get to hear what this, uh, this, uh, even trashier tram sounds like. Yeah, I'm working my original trashy tram, Titan. I like the 2A, I like the way it looks. Yeah, I got My manual tuner's off, though. It used to be right, and then it jumped, and now it's on. I'm on 19A to get this channel. <laughs> Go figure. But I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking it might have been originally set up that way because I have some crystals in this radio that go below one. Hey, Pete, is that my old tram? This is your old one. No, this one's not. I got this one from 2 Watt. Dave has one of yours. Yeah, this, what do you got, the 3, Dave, or does that the 4? This is the 2A. Why well, not? I thought you guys got my 3 and 4, too. I didn't know you ever had a three. The four Pete had for a while, and he sold it. And four, you had a three, too. Uh, I don't know whatever happened to that. Probably had a blow in the final, because threes were always known for that. Yeah, I don't think that one ever came my way. And four, I know somebody got it. I just don't remember who would deal with so damn many radios. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a hold of a three and seeing if I can't, uh, you know, re-engineer the problems out of it. Show you right. Oh yeah. A little saxophone. There you go. Yeah, a little Lisa Simpson. I usually get the mini man when he's looking for trouble or wants to play ball. <laughs> or bark at your radio. He didn't like 
the uh, what was that? Uh, the satellite. He didn't like the satellite sitting there working on the test bench. He freaked. I'm guessing that that thing was putting out a high frequency sound that only he could hear, and it was probably bothering him. Yeah, very well could be. And he got even worse when I would transmit. He, he didn't like it at all. Review past editions of Classic Radio Roundup Watergates on Grumpy's Internet Forum. Yeah, I might just set up a, uh, a separate area just for, 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 uh, for gates. And then we can just put them on there. Oh, I got a continuing thread. Yeah, and that's cool. I guess, you know, under the classic radio st uh, section, we just, you know, just call them Watergate thread. I guess it's, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, and it's real quiet in my receiver here right now, too. you want, drop them right in there and download them into the radio. Actually, you'll you'll dump what's into the in the in the radio into the uh, spreadsheet, and then you can just edit from there. Uh, it's chirp.com or what? Uh, honestly, I don't have a computer out here, but uh, yeah, probably is chirp.net or .com or .org even. Um, but if you if you just Google chirp programming software, you'll see it. Okay. Four, four Dave's out there. He's got his feet up, you know, just all kicked back. Just him and the radio. On a night like this, it'd be pleasant to sit out on the porch. You better believe it. I envy him.
in the charger if I can get this little clip on. There you go. Did the lovely Pearl tell you she ran into me? Didn't say nothing. Oh man, I guess I wasn't the highlight of her day. Well, I'm not shocked. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I ran into her the other day. I mean, not with the truck or anything, at the gas station. <laughs> I guess you guys exchanged words? Well, not in a heated way, but yeah, yes, we did. <laughs> All right, no, I didn't hear nothing. I've been working late. I didn't get home until almost midnight last night, so she probably didn't have a chance to say that, huh? Yeah, she said you were putting in a lot of hours, man. Making the big bucks. You can buy more classic radios. That's right. Everybody needs more classics. Pile them high. Some three radio, three radio, two regular one. I got a base station, a mobile, and a classic radio. Do I hear a beep on classic radio? Yeah, I got me on my RCI Ranger. So I got a JC Penny. I think it's a um, like a two, like a something like a two six, like a like a something like classic, like a night, like a second year of the forty seven CB. I'll be J.T. Penny. Come back to this morning, Clark. On uh, you? Yeah. yeah, click it till it says off. What, the echo? Yeah. What, too much? Doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's too much for me. You're, you're giving me a 30 over over here and it's killing me. Oh, he's that close to you, huh? Yeah, he's right the road. Uh, How about now? That's better. Okay, still a lot of people. Okay, no problem. Yeah, like I said, I got, like I said, I got a JT Penny. I think it's a, uh, a 6202, um, 42, uh, JT Penny radio that got with the original microphone. And I got this radio here and my, uh, and my Curva, one, my 139 Curva. Ah, the 139 is a nice classic. As clean as I can be. I even got the booklet to the radio, and I got the booklet to the, uh, the 142. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'm running a console, too. Ah, another classic. All right, one thing I need to get to my radio is on one thing I need to get to JT Paint. The channel selection needs to be fixed on it, but once I get that fixed, that thing is nice, that thing will be ready to go. It looks beautiful, but the channel selection needs to be fixed on it. Ten rod, you're right on. And try to find one of those radios today, but you might be like, like looking for a needle in a haystack. Did you find it, Ron? Yeah, I got it. They, they want you to uh, send money in, don't you? No. You can, you know, if, if it works for you really well and you feel good about it, you can, you know, flip them ten bucks. You have to sign up for it to make it work, right? No, sir. I've got some local interference. The natives are restless over over at the Folk Fest, man. They're hooting and hollering already. <laughs> yeah, man, Sparky, I bet they are. When does uh, Todd Rundgren play? I don't know, but we were going to go down um, maybe on the trail during the day and then uh, listen to simulcast later at night. Ah, cool. Simulcast? What are they simulcasting? They have a low-power FM transmitter over there. Uh, 
Uh, I bet you it's all 25 watts. Uh, I thought maybe they were streaming on the net or something. Nah, nah, they... Just for the campers over there. They have the main stage and then they'll simulcast it in case you're over camping or something like that. How far away are the campsites from the, from the stage? Uh, just about a quarter mile. Oh, wow. That's a big field. Yep, the old pool farm. And it was funny because I looked on the aviation maps and there was actually an airstrip there at one time. Oh, yeah? Well, how long ago was that? And probably when they were barnstorming. Barnstorming? Hey, wait a minute, Sparky. Folkfest, isn't it supposed to be pouring down rain right now? That's rule number one. It always rains. It was yesterday. Yeah, they got a good dousing. Be nice and, and smooth and uh, uh, the, the, be nice and muddy for all them cars parking on the grass. I wonder if I hook my two meter beam up to my FM receiver, I could pick that up. That would be a cool shot if you did. But it, it, you gotta be there. You gotta go there to see all the muddy hippie chicks. Yeah, but those muddy hippie chicks are probably in their high, uh, mid to late 50s. Yeah, it was a lot more fun sneaking in there as a teenager than going hanging out there now. Yeah, it's like 91 something, uh, Spitfire. Yeah, I'd have to know the exact frequency and I'll uh, hook my two meter beam up to it. I'll do it tomorrow morning and swing it over that way and see if I can hear it. Yeah, it's probably on the website. Operator, come in. You know who's probably over there is Stuart. No, I don't think he's going this year. Really? He always goes in a camper. He used to, but somebody told me he wasn't going.